We are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. Hey, my brother, you know I had to call you and thank you personally again. I cannot describe to you how happy I was to meet you in person, by the way. That was just, like, amazing. Come on, Cleveland. Come on. Come on over here. Come on in there. Let's show walk. Come on over. Then, then uh, you're going to limp back. You walk over. Was well, you limping back? Not to be popular. It's just I'm inspired by my brother. That reality tip was brother. The most powerful voice on the internet. That reality angel snubbing up seven. That's right, brother. I'm calling you out, brother. I'm calling. I'm building you. I'm putting you out there, brother. I'm shouting you out. That's that's what that's my inspiration. becomes the first of the divas to offer the world her singular sound. And she does just that on Southern Gap. Peace forever and always. I'm so sister J. I'm so sister D. And I just wanted to say thank you for all the people who helped to the medical fundraiser for my uncle to week. And it has meant so much to us that you would help because without you guys, 
in his life would not be possible and we would not be with him today right now. And I just want to say, for all of you that helped and that donated, I would really would like to give a big thanks. And I hope that I can meet you one day and say thank you in person. I love you guys. Amen. Okay. Alright, Everybody who is black and interested in black people, let us sit down and find out how we can get together in one direction against one enemy and accomplish this job overnight. This is Dusty Basement Studios, and we approve of this message. We want to make sure that we're not just working to be first, but we're working to be right. A lot of times there are situations when things are just happening so fast. It's always important to be fast, but we always want to be right. My brother Angel Snub Nub 7 at the Reality Simple. And to give props to him, because I listen to all of Angel Snub Nub 7's videos, I think that um, he comes from a different angle. And there's a powerful message in a lot of the videos that he put out, and I try to catch all of them. I, I look at him as a free thinker and a person that's willing to challenge those of which he don't agree with or which he may think differently from, and I really respect him for that. He's challenged KB, KMBS, and he has also challenged the black supremacy movement as well. And I have nothing against that, because that which cannot be challenged cannot be stand cannot stand and will not stand and will not survive the test of time. How many challenges we can withstand will determine how long we will be able to stand. Gomane, assemble the people, Gomane. We will not be defeated by witch doctor's illusions. Welcome to the Reality Temple on Earth. My name is Jeroen, and uh, I would like to say that Angel Snub Snub Seven isn't a racist at all. He's a good friend. Himself, and you don't realize it. You don't realize it, that God has been in prison. The devil was able to imprison God. So right inside your own self, your God self has been in prison, and you have a false sense of self running rampant inside the temple. This is why you understand what I'm saying? You, yes, sir. You have to bring reality's temple here on earth. Reality's <laughs> temple here on earth. Because yes, sir. We have to realize the enemy is running rampant inside this temple. Life has changed. Oh, I want the red. Wait, what was that? Um, 
Mr. T did in Rocky. What was that? Uh, Rocky 3. Was it Rocky 3? Put them covers off my face. <laughs> there we go. I don't have a lot to say. Come to see Terry. That's Terry, Cindy, and Rona. I trust that feeling. Does anybody have any questions of me before I get out of here? Let's see what you guys are saying. What's up, Soul Sister Rona? Hey, Talik. I'm the brother that did my uh, Mike Jackson in Tunica, Mississippi. Hey, now. Uh, hello to Terry. Respect. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Come to see Terry. That's Terry, Cindy, and Rona. It's Terry. It's important for the black youth especially to know that that we did have a history and that we did great things and that we had great people and those things were not in the history books when I was in school and um, what I'd like to be doing five years from now is attempting to rewrite the history books so that they'll know that And that is uh, Brother Talik from the Reality Temples on Earth channel. And if you get a chance uh, to subscribe, please do, please do subscribe to his channel. He's a he's a good brother. You know, he's trying to he's doing good work and he wants to do good constructive things. He has good information to provide. So please do check out his channel if you get a chance. talking about not falling into the teacher trap not falling into the website trap so today what teachers can you learn from we just told you that the Aka Wu tells you that we're all the great teacher at the same time so who are you gonna learn from you're gonna learn from brothers like Sarnetta you're gonna learn the positives and negatives from brothers like Sarnetta you're gonna learn the positives and negatives of people like brother polite the positives and negatives of people like Sarah Sutton Seti. You're going to learn from Maurice Muhammad, Talik Ibn Rod. You're going to learn from Netter Cat. You're going to learn. you definitely going to learn from King Noble. you definitely going to learn a little something, something from Brother Daku. Morals are just, you know, subjective. But when you have laws and things on paper that say if you do this, we're going to punish you by incarcerating you and you break them and you're dumb enough to get caught, then you're just dumb. All right, all right. Shout out to Reality's Temple in the building. Well, just for my, I got to get him on here, man. You talk about somebody polarizing. Whoa. <laughs> that brother, that brother is, uh, <laughs> I'll leave that alone. Shout out to the brother, though, Just.
What dear? Because I keeps it real like that. I keeps it real. Keeps it real like that. I keep it real. Come on, Cleveland. Come on. Come on over here. Come on in there. Let's show walk. Come on over. Then, then uh, you're going to limp back. You walk over, but you're limping back. So, she's against sexual predators and. and uh, uh, child, child pornography and what? I'm sorry, ch child rapists and all this. Stuff. She's against, but she supposed to be against pedophilia. She supposed to be against all. She, that's supposed to be she, she's against. And then, and then what kills me? She lied about what happened to her when she was five years old. Oh, well, you know, I got molested when I was five years old. That's, she's lying about that. Who was these people? And then find out she said, "Well, I was living with this couple. I didn't know who they were, and I woke up with a cock in my mouth." What? You know, I remember, you know, sometimes we got to be very careful. I spoke to real victims. I spoke to real victims, especially for my sister who got molested. And, you know, they, they tell me, look, you know, my uncle had, had touched me. Or my mother's boyfriend touched me. They don't say no shit like that. So we got to be very careful how you got people will play on people's pain and suffering. Or because they're trying to look for some sort of clout and so they can make money off of these people. Remind me of what happened to Hassan Campbell. How he's going to lie on African Bambada, find out all that was a damn lie. Then he's taking photos with African bomb Bam Bam. He's taking uh uh he's he said oh yeah I used to be African Bam Bada's bodyguard. So wait a minute you claim this man put his hand on you but you've taken photos with him um you're talking about uh you you're talking about you used to be his bodyguard no what happened was I think Hassan Campbell was caught doing some fruit loop shit and he got kicked out the Zulu nation. That's what happened to him. He got kicked out the Zulu nation. So he got he gets mad at African Bambada and try to dirty up his name. And this is what this chick is doing, same thing. Trying to say, oh, you know, lying and say, oh yeah, you know, I got I got molested when I was five. And so who are these people molested you? Oh well, you know, I, I was living with these couple. Don't even know who these couple is. You know, I, I just you know went to bed sleep and I, and I woke up and I woke up with a with a dick in my mouth. What? Are you fucking serious? So we we you know 
we, we got to be very careful about these pranksters. Like I said, I spoke to real victims. That's not that's not something to joke around with. Okay? That's not something to joke around with. Oh, but I want to give her... Oh, yeah, she mentioned about the fact that He don't do nothing. He, he don't want to, he don't want to, just like the girl told feminists, they don't want to work. She's, and the girl told feminists, she's the same one. Oh, I don't want to work and the stimulus check ain't nothing. She don't want to do nothing. She got a college degree. She can't do nothing with it. But then she holds her sugar daddy, who's a, a high school dropout. A high school dropout. And all of a sudden, his words is as golden to her ears. This is a woman who has a college degree. And you're going to listen to somebody who's dropped out of high school. Oh, well, you know, I hate working and uh, I want to sit on my ass and just write uh, uh, stupid ass books all day. Books ain't, help, ain't doing nothing for us. that my name came up in one of her sugar, her sugar daddy, Uncle Ruckus, the videos. And she's talking about, I mean, just put my name in the conversation. Had nothing to do with the program. Nothing to do with the program. So I had to respond. I had to respond. So I came up with this video. I did this video. Because I want to know why she's mentioning my name. I didn't bother this. I don't bother these people. I don't bother these people. But I know that she's been coached. I know she's being coached. So she's like, well, she's, and then, and then, and then I'm like, yeah, why are you, why are my name coming out your mouth? Why my name is coming out your mouth? So she decided, she, she, then she knew that I was going to do a video. She knew I was going to do this video. And she did a video. She did, actually, she did three videos in one night. Who, you, to me, you got too much time on your hands. And then she's going to say, well, there was some misunderstanding. My whole thing is this. If there was a misunderstanding, then she should have she should have put that in the in the comments comment section right before I did this video and and I would have just not did the video. If she would have said look like, I apologize if it was a misunderstanding or whatever whatever. Nope. And then in the video she would have oh if it was a misunderstanding you could have called me and emailed me or whatever we could have had a good conversation but i'm like wait a minute 
you already put that, you already bash me and slandering, you already put that in the atmosphere. So I have to respond. I had to respond. And so she 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 continued slandering me in that same video. And then while I was doing this video, she makes she makes another video slandering me. And then she's going to turn around and say, "Well, you know, God and Hollywood." been stalking me for two years. Bitch, I didn't know you two years ago. That's a damn lie. He didn't know nothing about you. Going to bring up that lie. And then she's going to say, well, she, he's sending me these links. These porn links. I didn't even know what the hell she was talking about. What porn links you talking about? So, that that's what she was running on, these Point these these links that she was getting, and she kept saying, "You know, he's sending me these links." And then she confessed in one of the videos that she she clicked on one of the links. Well, I was just kind of curious, so I just wanted to know what, what was on there. And, oh my God, I just saw a. Uh, 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 a young girl, she, a young white girl, she like she had to be like 15 years old. She was naked. So she she confessed of looking at child pornography. But the links that she was talking about, people kept saying, no, that's not God. Now he was doing that. Her supporters kept saying, no, that's not him. Those are bots. She didn't even know anything about the box. She didn't know about that. That means she don't know about technology. That means she don't know about she don't she she don't know about computers. So I did this video. So I want to show you what I was talking about about these bots. Okay, a bot, short for robot, is also called an internet bot. It's a computer program that operates as an agent for the user or other program or, or simulate to a human activity. Bots are normally used to automatic certain tags, meaning that they can run without specific instruction from human. So people were trying to tell her that these bots, you can't, you, you know, a human is not doing it. A human cannot put uh, 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 bot links on your videos. That's what people are trying to tell her, dumbass. This is how these. This is how. This is how it look. And then she comes up with another video. Oh. I, I, I didn't know that after three videos, she's gonna be like, Well, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know about these bots. I, I thought I, I thought it was God in Hollywood, but it's, 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 I didn't know about these bots. But people kept telling her, No. You, you know, this is not coming from, this is some YouTube, YouTubers doing this. This is coming within the network. And then she, like I said, she confessed of clicking on this stuff because she was curious. She was curious looking at child pornography and she confessed in this, in her own video. So I did, I went to, so I did, so to protect myself, to defend myself, 
to defend myself. I did a video on this. So she's still making videos about me. So I just so then I just eat her with this video. Her and her sugar daddy. So after I did those two videos to defend myself, it led to this. It led to that. Now, I have a right to defend myself. I have a right to defend myself. But when you're dealing with a black feminist, a black feminist don't believe for a black man to defend himself. They don't believe that. My thing is like this. If you're going to put my name in your video and you're putting out in the public, it becomes what? Public information. Even though it might be false. It becomes public information. Now, I didn't take down her, her, her whole video. I just took a, a small sample maybe two minutes, and I did it in fair use. YouTube said, if you take it, you could do, you could take a clip and you could do it in fair use. So of course, because I was pointing out all her hypocrisies, showing about her book, been a plagiarized book showing how that uh, she took what I said. Now, and also, too, I want to address this about her book situation. Is that my whole thing is this. And then she's going to say, well, you try to get credit off my book. No, I'm not trying to get credit off your book because I wouldn't write a book like that. I wouldn't write a book like that. But it's, it's okay to give people some sort of credit for the, so, so, so to give people credit to, uh, so they give you some uh, enlightenment to write your book, some enlightenment. I mean, I don't want it now. I don't want it now. And I, and, and, and I want to say this, I don't give a damn about you. And I want to say this, because I don't know if she might be watching. She's a stalker, too. She's a stalker. She, she's probably watching right now. But, you know, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't give a damn about these two. I don't give a damn about these videos. Actually, she did me a favor by taking them down. She did me a favor by taking these videos down. I'm glad she took them down, because I didn't want to do videos like this. I really didn't. So I wanted to thank her for taking those videos down. So those videos, by them taking those videos, that, that was equal to two strikes. So YouTube was just like, you know what? To shut this chick up so we won't get sued and your, your channel won't get terminated, we'll just give you one strike, just lay low until the, till, till the strikes are over and then you come back. Now, where was the unity? Where was the unity when she did six videos of me slandering my name? Lying. Where was this black unity then? Okay, where was this unity then? Slandering my name. And because I brought up all her hypocrisies, all the video, everything that I show, she decide, oh, this can't be out. So that means you got something to hide. The reason why you had to, that means this chick, this feminist, this feminist, this girl toy feminist, that means she said, well, I, got, I, I can't get this out, so let me flag down these videos. And that's what she did. That's what she did. But... I'm glad because it made me a stronger person. It made me even stronger.
So, so I want to uh, just to show that to let her know the hypocrisy of these people. Also, too, she also made a video talking about why she hate black people. She made two videos talking about why she hate black people. There was no, there's no unity in that. Why she hate black folks? Where was the, where's the, where's the unity? So you hate, so you, so you, you hate black folks, but then you want a safe haven for black people. And then you want to know why. See, this is the reason why I can't stand a black feminist. And because she also did a video talking about black men. She also did a video about black men being sex traffickers. Sex traffickers. Sound like a David Dukes. Sound like David Duke. And a lot of a lot of sisters ain't playing that shit either. They ain't playing that, that black feminist bullshit. This is the reason why she said this in this Soul Liberation Day that some black girl was gonna punch her in her face. Was gonna beat her ass. But she probably was saying some black feminist shit that the sister was not just having. I don't like I said again, I don't think it's fair. You take my videos down, but she's slandering me. And I want to say thanks to Cool Cutter, because Cool Cutter checked her ass on it. He checked her silly ass and said, yo, why are you doing that to that brother? Why are you slandering? You ain't showing no proof, and you just talking. You just make it. Why are you doing that? Uh, sound like a crazy woman. But this is the same woman that said, "Ain't no black man, ain't no black man gonna rule over me. Ain't no black man gonna bully me." Ain't no black man gonna bully me. But then, when she was arguing with the Hebrew Israelite brother, Uncle Ruckus told her to shut the hell up and let that man talk. Come on, shut up, woman, and let that man talk. And she said, yes, big daddy, I'll be quiet. That's exactly what she said. Yes, big daddy, I'll be quiet. I'll let him talk. So wait a minute. So she's against sexual predators and and uh, uh, child, child pornography, and what I'm sorry, child, child rapists, and all this. Stuff. She's against, but she supposed to be against pedophilia. She supposed to be against all. She, that's supposed to be she, she's against. And then, and then, what kills me? She lied about what happened to her when she was five years old. Oh, well, you know, I got molested when I was five years old. That's, she's lying about that. Who was these people? And then find out she said, "Well, I was living with this couple." I didn't know who they were, and I woke up with a cock in my mouth. What? You know, I remember, you know, sometimes we got to be very careful. I spoke to real victims. I spoke to real victims, especially for my sister who got molested. And, you know, they, they tell me, look, you know, my uncle had, had touched me. Or my mother's boyfriend touched me. They don't say no shit like that. So we got to be very careful how you got people will play on people's pain and suffering. Or because they're trying to look for some sort of clout. And so they can make money off of these people. Remind me of what happened to Hassan Campbell. How he's going to lie on African Bambada, find out. 
all that was a damn lie. Then he's taking photos with African bomb band battle. He's taking uh uh he's he said, Oh yeah, I used to be African Ben Bada's bodyguard. So wait a minute, you claim this man put his hand on you, but you taking photos with him? Um you're talking about uh you you're talking about you used to be his bodyguard? No, what happened was I think Hassan Campbell was caught doing some fruit loop shit and he got kicked out the Zulu Nation. That's what happened to him. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started. Quickly. Let's get this party started. Quickly. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started. Quickly. Let's get this party started. Quickly. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started quickly. Let's get this party started quickly. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started quickly. Let's get this party started quickly. Let's get this. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started. Ride, ride, ride. Let's get this party started quickly.
and he got kicked out the Zulu nation. That's what happened to him. He got kicked out the Zulu nation. So he got he gets mad at African Bambara and try to dirt up his name. And this is what this chick is doing. Same thing. Trying to say, oh, you know, lying and say, oh yeah, you know, I got I got molested when I was five. And so who are these people who molested you? Oh well, you know, I, I was living with these couple. Don't even know who these couple is. And I, and I just and I went to bed sleep and I, and I woke up and I woke up with a with a dick in my mouth. What? Are you fucking serious? So we, we you know, we, we got to be very careful about these pranksters. Like I said, I spoke to real victims. That's not, that's not something to joke around with. Okay? That's not something to joke around with. Oh, but I want to give her... Oh, yeah, she mentioned about the fact that who cut her had checked me, had, had, oh yeah, you know, uh, had asked me good questions when I was on my, when I did those, when I did one of those videos, when I did one of my videos that she took down. I told Cool Cutter, peace out to him, shout out to him, that everything that I said with the whole plagiarism thing, that everything that I said was based on logic and common sense. You don't get that out no book, especially when you're dealing with religion. Especially when you're dealing with religion. And I showed it on Amazon that she even took the title that somebody already did in 2011 on Amazon. I already showed all that. So I'm not, I wasn't lying, but she knew because I was exposing too much. Oh, I had, I gotta take this, I gotta take these videos down. But I already, anybody saw the video. So it don't, it don't matter if you took the videos down. It's, 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 it's too late now. Everybody saw, it, but yeah, hey, she did me a favor. Thank you for doing that. Okay. Because I want to show this real quick again. Thank you for doing that. Because it it made me a it made me a stronger person. And like I said, when people do this, like I said, well, when I'm from, we call this dry snitching. We call this dry snitch. And like I said, a feminine, a black feminist would never allow you to defend yourself. And she hates men. She talks against a black man. She always say, well, you know, uh, I never had a black man uh, to protect me. You know, you're always going to have these people that have these mommy and daddy issues. Okay. But she wants to talk about pedophilia and all this other stuff, all this other nonsense. But she never talked about the president. So, 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 wait a minute. You talk about that, but you voted for a president who who, who did that. You voted for you voted you voted for a president that that was that 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 did that. Let me screen share this one. She voted for a president who's a pedophile. The president we have now is a pedophile. Let's see this. I don't know if this is the right one. Yes. So let's look at let's look at this real quick. 
Because it's funny, she never, she never, she never talk about the president being that. But you gonna, but she gonna slander me. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look about this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look how uncomfortable those girls are. So this is this is who she voted for. Okay, that's who she voted for, and she did not even mention. She didn't even mention him at all. She didn't even mention him at all. But that's who we got as president. But you want to talk about pedophilia and all that, okay? So I tried to, uh, oh, oh yeah. By the way, to the girl, to the girl toy feminist, <laughs> congratulations! She was on Side Matter show. She was on Sarnetta, and she was talking about the Anunnaki and black and aliens created black people that has nothing to do with our situation, has nothing to do with our condition. You got black people right now in Mississippi do not have any water. We have black people in Mississippi that do not have any water over there, but she wants to talk about some Anunnaki and aliens from outer space uh, 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 making black folks. This is the nonsense, and I'm very surprised that. Um, Sarnetta would, 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 you know, would have that nonsense on his program. So when I saw my brother, Chaka almost, it was very refreshing because, you know, just to see that brother, you know, uh, talk about some real, there's some real stuff. And he was, he was killing with the views, man. Oh, man. So, and then I saw her pop up in there. She's like, oh, yeah, you know, Sonata, you know, he's he's on fire tonight. And I'm like, wait a minute. You know, and I'm like, you're not, you're not into Africa like that. She hates Africa. Oh, I, you know, I'm not African. Anymore. She don't, she don't want to have nothing to do with Africa. She's not into spirituality because she hates religion. Well, first of all, spirituality and religion is two different things. They're two, they're two different things. So I'm trying to understand why she's bigging Shaka almost up and she's not even she's not even uh uh, uh she don't even she 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 don't represent what he stands for. So I'm a, little, I'm a little surprised about that. Very surprised about that. And then I saw one video where, and, and that's another thing too, and I, I, don't, I don't like this. And then she tried to make it seem that I, I, I want her and, you know, and here's, let me tell you something. This is the same woman. She's living a miserable life. This, this person, this uh, 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 girl toy feminist, this is the same woman 
They've never been on a prom date. Never asked to be on a prom date. Never been on a date. Okay? Never was proposed to be married. But she can, but she can brag about her booty calls, though. Or she can brag about that. Talking about, yeah, I, I, I didn't have sex in, in, a, in, in, in a year or something like that. Something like that, she said. But I, but I did have sex. I had sex. Or she'll brag about her booty call. And she always trying to make it seem, and then she's trying to flip it like, I want to get with her type of shit. She want me, oh, well, uh, it, uh, 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 what's she, what she said? She said something about, um, I don't know. She was like, well, you're, you're married and, and all that. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm not. I'm not trying to get with you. You're not even my type. Everything about this chick is old fashioned. Everything. And then I saw one video where uh, 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 her sugar daddy's program, Uncle Ruckus. He's like, oh, you know, I think God now he works. He got a crush on you, and she's laughing like a, her whole face lit up. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, I think so. Like she liked that, like she like she was getting aroused of me. Like, I don't know. She's not even my type. She's too old fashioned. Even her name is old fashioned. And I said this in my video that she took that she took down. I mean, you know, I don't understand. So there, when, when we talk about black unity, there was there is no black unity. But I kept hearing it through uh, this Soul Liberation Day of last year. There was this constant attack, constant attack, constantly. Now, my whole thing is this. Now, my whole thing is this. I even said in, in, my, in my video that I did, that I did, that she took down. I said, I said, allow me on your panel. I said, I, I said, allow me on your panel and we can have a nice discussion, a, a nice debate. And I said, I want to see if your primitive research can match with my African scholarship. Or we could just duke it out on your show. I said this. No, she didn't want to do that. She wanted to continue bashing me. Just continue bashing me. So what I want to do, this is what I wanted to do for the girl for the girl to a feminist. I want to do this. Like I said, all that happened last year. And I'm willing to do this for her. And I'm going to be nice. I want to make a peace offering. Because I know she's probably watching me. Because she's a stalker. But I want to make a peace offering. And a peace offering is this. If she can prove all the ill wills I did, did to her. If she can prove, because she said that I've been stalking her for two years. Then you should have two years worth of evidence. Even if it's allegedly. Prove to, prove to the world that, and I'm still waiting on this exposure, prove to the world that I've been sending links and you know, sh show the phone messages and whatever you have to show. I want her to show these things in public and if she can show these things that I've been harassing or, or whatever, she can prove these ill wills that I've done to her, not only I would give a public apology, I would give a public apology, not only I give a public apology, I will throw in a thousand dollars in her cash. Because I know her broke ass need, I know her, her bum broke ass need money. And that's more that she gets paid on her job. Because she only get paid seven dollars an hour. 
seven dollars an hour. That's a, that's all she gets paid. So I'm willing to do that. Hotel Kuku Kara was good. Peace to Omega Courtney. But yeah, I wanted to do that. I wanted to make that peace offering from the girl, the girl toy feminists that if she can prove that's what's up, Cool Cutter, that's what's up. If she can prove that I did all these ill wills to her, I will give a public apology and I will send a thousand dollars to her in her cash app if she can show me evidence that I've been stalking her or harassing or sending links. And if she can't prove it, then she's full of shit. Because I know she can't prove it. So it doesn't matter what she said. And I know she'll probably do a video after seeing it. Oh, you sent me links again. Even though people will say, hey, you know, you, a human cannot see those type of links. Those are bots. A human cannot do that. Unbelievable. So that's my peace offering to the girl to a feminist. I don't support black feminism because that leads to lesbianism. I don't support that. And I know it's a possibility that she's been with other women, other females. I'm not surprised. I know she has, she, has, she, won't, she won't say it. Because her hatred for black men is, is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And she said, right before before I, before I move on to the next person, I remember she said, well, I'm used to black men not protecting me. She said, I'm used to black men not protecting me. Well, damn, well, look, look at the people that you associate with. Look at the people that you associate with. You're not around real black men. You're not around real black men. So no, they're not they're not gonna protect you. You're not you know, a coward can't protect women. So you know, I mean I mean I understand that her father would fail to protect her as, as a young, but like I said, she has daddy issues. Straight daddy issues. So, again, if like I said, I'm willing to make a peace offering. This, this is the 2021. I'm willing to do that. If she can show any type of, any proof of evidence that I showed her any type of ill wills, all the things that she can, because the videos are still there. And she did not take those videos down. And the funny thing about it, she attacked me. Girl told feminists they don't want to work. She's and the girl told feminists she's the same one. Oh, I don't want to work, and the stimulus check ain't nothing. She don't want to do nothing. She got a college degree. She can't do nothing with it. But then she holds her sugar daddy, who's a, a high school dropout, a high school dropout. And all of a sudden, his words is as golden to her ears. This is a woman who has a college degree. And you're going to listen to somebody who's dropped out of high school. Oh, well, you know, I hate working and uh, I want to sit on my ass and just write uh, uh, stupid ass books all day. Books ain't, help, ain't doing nothing for us. 